you know what? I always think it's a shame when you walk down the high street and there's empty shop after an empty shop, boarded up and derelict some of them. But groups of young people have witnessed, well, they've been sprucing up the old hoardings in their local shopping area. Cronton School of Art is one of the colleges taking part. And tutor Mark Smith told me how they got involved. Yeah, we um, were approached initially by Kyla from the Albert Square uh, shopping centre. She's one of the managers who oversees it. And we were given a brief basically to produce a set of murals based on the Halton theme. Right. And um, we decided to actually look at famous people from the area and their impact on society, their contributions, people from different walks of life and different backgrounds. Right. And we incorporated that into our idea. So talk us through, we've got a picture in front of us here with Halton, I can see John Bishop in the middle there. Yeah, um, you know, some people may or may not know that John Bishop actually studied in Runcorn at um, Brookvale High School, actually. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we tried to bring in some personalities, obviously some people are really well known, current personalities, and some people as well from back in history, so obviously Lewis Carroll, he was from Garsbury right. originally, very right. famous uh, author. Uh, people like Alan Bleasdale. And Jeremy Kyle as well? Jeremy Kyle, apparently he lives in the area. The students picked up on that one and uh, wanted him in the, the image. Well, yeah. I mean, he's an impressive image. You know, you've got the bridge in the background, you've got the portraits of Alan Bleasdale, John Bishop there, Lewis Carroll, and uh, you've got some of the industry as well painted in. It, it, it's, it's effective, isn't it? Yeah, we, um, we're really pleased with the impact. Obviously, working on such a big scale, the students were given the chance to really push their ideas, scale it up, and actually get it presented in the community, which we think is like a real, um, really positive. We think that's really important for the students to get the work out there and do real live projects, uh, which connects with the community. Mm. And a good thing as well, I mean, I think people are going to learn from these, aren't they? I mean, I didn't know for instance, Jeremy Kyle from this neck of the woods. Well, that, that was the hope, that people get to see how many people are from the local area that can be quite inspirational, you know, even role models for young people. So uh, that was our plan, to actually educate and provide people who, in some respect, would be aspirational, you know. They may have studied at the same school as some young people in the area, so they may look and say, well, you know, that could be me. I could aspire to those... Uh, levels. How many students got involved then? There were 12 students from the Cronton School of Art. They were level two art students. Right. Um, first time they've done such a project like this. So it was a really, you know, a real learning curve for them to take on a real live community project with tight deadlines, uh, tight brief, and to actually put the work out there to be judged, if you like. Well, it, I'm not going to say that. It must be a great feeling as well to do a piece of artwork that's on display for everyone to see, you know. Yeah, they were very excited by that. It was lovely to see them kind of, as the work started to take shape and come together, they began to get really excited about, you know, the possibilities and how many people would see the work, you know. So, I mean, it's not just about the faces from around here and stuff like that. There's a tree I'm looking at there with community respect, sharing values, culture, community. It's all about what's going on here, isn't it? Yeah, so it's like all the different schools, the students, the pupils contributing to this whole piece of work, really, if you like, where all these ideas come together. And um, it's really provided a fantastic impact for this, um, this site. I'm Natalie McGann and I'm an artist. So where did your ideas come from then? Basically, they asked me what I would do personally and I told them what I would do and they said that they wanted um, the schools involved so I got in touch with some schools, as did Alice as well. The college, they had um, their own ideas of specifically what they wanted but... Yeah. Half but it's good to get your ideas because, yeah. you know... Some of the something... schools didn't have a clue so some of them I pretty much had to... Right. You know, sit there and discuss and ask them what they wanted, even if they didn't know, and then kind of like interpret it in a way that would be good visually for them. I know. And I think the students will have got a lot out of this, do you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, got a, a lot of good feedback from the Did primary you? school already, and uh, it's primary schools, and it's been really nice. It's been quite complimentary and actually tear in the eye kind of really? moment, yeah. I mean, to, to have your work on display here, you know, you can come down here with your, your family, your mum and dad, and, and walk past and say, look at that, I've done that. I mean, that, 
That's a nice thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you definitely. Know. Yeah. So what's next then? What happens to these after the uh, the project finishes? Will um, they be? Well, they're going to be displayed in the centre. Oh, that's right. There's a shop here, a pop-up shop, isn't it? There's two. We've oh, got two, right? uh, under Castlefield Galleries, and it's called New Art Spaces Witness. And right. there's one used to be the old music shop. Or okay. mobility shop, as some people call it, and the other one used to be um, Girls' Choice, which is across from Lloyd's Bank around the corner. And we've got um, exhibitions in both of them at the moment, and we've got future exhibitions coming up. And above the both the shops, there's um, studio spaces. It's a great idea, isn't it? I think so. Well, it's, it's been what it. I've been trying, striving for for a long time, but really? now I've got people behind me to do it. So I think Natalie was a. Uh, she's done a great job, hasn't she? Yeah, it was really great having her come in. Uh, having a real working artist come in and work with the students has been fantastic. Um, Natalie's kind of worked with them about all the, the different requirements of working as a professional artist, and that's been really valuable to us. Um, she's obviously talked about health and safety, managing a community project, all of the things that they need to know uh, when they're putting the work out into the public arena. So... Uh, in terms of their development, it's been really valuable. Really good idea that, you know, and the work is on display in Albert Square Shopping Centre over with this from today. So go along and have a look, go and have a wander around the shops and have a look at that, some really uh, classy stuff. And not only that, educational as well. I found out a lot about with this yesterday that I didn't really know. Uh, just by looking at the murals, so it's an interesting project, that one. And thanks to everyone over there yesterday, it made me very, very welcome.